We are counting down to America's total solar eclipse. Many people will be traveling far and wide to the path of totality to capture this phenomena. But since travel is only part of the planning, we want to bring in an eclipse expert to help with the rest so that you can capture the solar spectacular on April 8th. Joining me now is the expedition coordinator, coordinator at Johnson Space Center Astronomical Society, Paul DeMalley. Paul, thank you so much uh, for being with us uh, on Fox Weather. I'm so excited to chat with you as we go through this afternoon. I want to know where you think is the place to be on April 8th to see this spectacle and how you're planning to prepare for it. Well, there are many places along the path. I think you've already uh, talked about that from Texas up to Maine. But uh, actually, I'm planning to take a large group to Mexico, southern Mexico. And then we're going to get on a ship and be out uh, near the Gulf of California. So we'll be the first people to see it. And um, we have our eclipse glasses ready to watch for the, uh, the partial phases of the eclipse. As you well know, the, the totality part is a very short uh, four and a half minutes compared to the full three hours uh, of the eclipse. And it is a really dramatic, amazing experience for anyone going there. Yeah, and Paul, you have such a storied history. You've observed over 80 eclipses. Talk to me about how weather has impacted any of these moments for you. Well, last year in particular, we had a total eclipse off the western coast of Australia and they experienced uh, the strongest cyclone to hit that area in the previous 10 years, just at the, about the time we were supposed to land in the western city of Broome. So we thought that there was a big chance that our cruise would be canceled. But luckily, the cyclone took a little bit of a loop and bypassed the town, and we were able to connect with our ship, get on it, and head out to sea, and we successfully observed it in spite of that. That's just one of a number of challenges that we've had over the, the past four decades. Yeah, absolutely. So talk about advice you have for those who are hoping to capture this event. I mean, we're just under two weeks out. When do you really start to look into the forecast? Uh, I start looking now, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, typically, the first three days uh, prior to, the, to April the 8th are the key days to begin looking at the weather trends. And of course, uh, watching Fox weather will, will get you uh, into the best forecast uh, mode so you'll know where to go. But the best thing to do is to be mobile. If you're going to sit in one city and just sit and wait, there's a chance that you could have clouds. But if you follow the, uh, the weather uh, bulletins and forecasts, you should be able to get to the place that they recommend would have the best weather. Absolutely. So I want to ask too, what are you most looking forward to about this eclipse this year? I mean, after so many that you've seen over the years and across the world, is there something particularly unique? Well, every eclipse is different. Uh, and as a result, you know, we never know what to expect. This year, there is a comet approaching the sun uh, that some predict may be visible during the total phase of the eclipse. Uh, I, I'm not sure that that's going to happen, but that could be an extra bonus. But getting a chance to look at the atmosphere of the sun during totality is the most amazing thing. You're showing that right now. Um, you get a chance to uh, observe the, the corona, which is what it's called. It, it extends out uh, perhaps uh, a half a solar diameter or even more, depending upon where you are. Um, and it's, uh, it's a dramatic thing to see. There are other phenomenon associated with the eclipse that I don't, probably don't have enough time to go into, mm -hmm. but um, it, it still is, uh, it's something you need to look into and check out the various things that you can see. During the partial phases, for example, uh, that last approximately two and a half hours, you can actually see sun crescents projected through certain trees. It is exciting, trees. Paul. I'm sorry to, yeah. to cut you off, but uh, definitely a lot to look forward to. And I know you have been planning for this and we're excited to, to see how you and your team come together to see the eclipse this year. And I appreciate your time chatting with me here on Fox Weather Expedition Coordinator at the Johnson Space Center Astronomical Society, Paul D. Malley.